Hello, everyone, and welcome to the In Demand Major Webinar Series. I am Missy DeBoer, the Director of Campus Admissions here at Northwood University, and I'm also going to be your moderator tonight as we look at the degree of business analytics. One thing I would like to point out to you is that you're going to have a chance to chat your questions. You will just use the chat box on YouTube. Some people call it the comment box, whatever you want to call it, that's fine. Just make sure you're typing your questions in and we will be sure to answer them at the end of our session tonight during our dedicated Q&A. We are very excited you are taking the time to learn more about why Northwood University is a special place and potentially your future home. Thanks for exploring the, this in-demand major webinar series. Your major will describe your specialty and your expertise. All Northwood majors feature a common business core, which helps to make our graduates well-rounded leaders in any organization and industry. This common business core also assists with dual majors, minors, and areas of competency to clearly define you and your interests. Most great business schools offer specialty or core business courses. So what makes Northwood University a different and better place? We have great faculty that really care about your, their students. In addition, you are going to start classes in your major with this great faculty your first year. Our faculty leverage their business and life experiences to mentor and coach the students at Northwood. Northwood is a place where students feel connected and supported. Northwood embraces the philosophy called the Northwood idea. We believe in the power of free markets and entrepreneurial leadership to improve society and quality of life for everyone. You'll learn more about our code of ethics, which most people find is a breath of fresh air. The code champions freedom, freedom for all, to create opportunity and recognizes responsibility for self and for community. The third key Northwood advantage is experience. We encourage students to get into the field and get their hands dirty. Practicing the theories and concepts from the classroom, our students compete, plan signature events, and pursue internships and projects that add to their personal and professional profiles. Northwood students are driven and passionate about becoming entrepreneurial leaders and help each other improve. Northwood graduates earn a personal advantage that leads to positive impact for our global society. Tonight, we are going to look at the degree of business analytics but Northwood University has over 20 different business majors. The In Demand Major webinar series will take place until December 17th and will cover each of these majors. With that, we will dive into our webinar this evening. We have three key areas we're gonna focus on tonight. First, we're going to talk about the major and what makes it unique. Then we're gonna bring in some Northwood students that are going to give you a look at what it's really like to be in this degree program. And finally, we'll wrap up with next steps. Without further ado, I would love to introduce you to Dr. Remy. Welcome, Dr. Remy, to our thank, webinar. Thank you, Missy. Appreciate we are so it. excited to have you with us this evening and sharing your passion for data analytics. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so um, I am going to start off with um, the industry outlook. Uh, there was a recent report uh, by PwC and the Business Higher Education Forum in which we observed that uh, current market analysis has shown that there are no job openings for data science and analytics roles will rise steadily to about 2.72 million postings in the year 2020. As of 2015, there were more job postings for data science and analytics skills than the total number of postings combined for registered nurses and truck drivers, which of course are two of the largest hiring occupations in the US. The message here is clear. Data science is the new gold. It's the new um, skill set that the that current uh, 
current employers are asking for. So what we, found, what we have found out is that the highest number of openings for data science roles are in three sectors, finance and insurance, information technology, and professional, scientific, and technical services. Uh, usually the demand for data science and analytics roles is a mix of technical and social skills. Most times they come as higher paying jobs, but they also require a higher level of preparation and above average social skills, analytical skills, or both. The big question we might ask is, why is there a growth in this demand for data science and analytics skills in all business industries? Uh, it is because when you look around you today, you find out that um, governments, businesses, individuals are recording and reporting information from the monumental phenomena to the mundane. Um, between databases and sensors, many aspects of our lives are recorded. When you do a Google search, when you post a tweet, when you buy something at the store, when you register at a new school, when you sign up for ski lessons, there is some kind of data that is collected. The big question is why? Why are we collecting all this data? It is because data is regarded as a form of embedment of truths that we might need some skill set in order to be able to extract insights from and be able to provide better customer experience or provide better value to the uh, customers. So one thing has become clear that in today's business ecosystem, uh, there is a hybrid economy which is, which is generating a considerable demand for highly trained data scientists and an even greater demand for data analytics professionals who possess a mix or hybrid skills. And those skill sets include uh, a deep knowledge in a particular domain with strong ability in the use of data analytics and visualization tools. Now, despite this huge or broad demand across all sectors, the United States has been facing a significant shortfall in the number of data analytics professionals and uh, data scientists. And so closing this data science um, analytics talent gap and enabling organizations to take full advantage of the data will require a significant expansion of strategic partnerships between uh, business and higher education. So what we find out is that this is, this is a big build up of, of the fact that uh, data science and analytics is creating a new revolution on many business fronts. If you look around you, the world is changing fast. Business leaders feel more pressure than ever in order to innovate. And they are urgently searching for people who can help the organizations with agility and speed. At the same time, increasing portions of workforce that are facing skill obsolescence, uh, reduced earning potential, and workplaces that demand more sophisticated technology and data analytics skills than ever before. That leads us to the question, how can we best prepare students and the broader workforce for the opportunities and challenges that lie ahead? Next slide, please. So we look at the answer to this question, and that is in formulating um, areas of skill development that tend to the, um, the fundamental pillars of uh, data science. And there are three of them. One is core business domain knowledge, database management, and analytic skills. To look at the very first one, at Northwood University, for business domain knowledge, we prepare you to become rounded in um, business domain knowledge because Northwood, Northwood has always been traditionally a business school. What this means is that the analytics degree program is designed so that you have a multidisciplinary, a multidisciplinary taste of different aspects of business processes. So you are coming to a school that 
has always invested in um excuse me that has always invested in the right professionals to nurture your business domain understanding then we also have courses that are fine tuned to meet industry specific demands so in your very first semester you begin to take classes in data visualization using tableau you um if you take a moment if you will to google uh, tableau you will see that um, it's a skill set that is in high high demand now along with other classes that you take in uh, your second and third semester you'll be able to complete the certification exam for tableau uh, for tableau uh, desktop certified professional with this applied and hands-on knowledge you'll be able to compete for business or data analyst internship roles after completing your second year up until the final year. Then, of course, this brand of education will set you up with a good and solid foundation for you to evolve with changing industry demands. Uh, among many other things, some of the skill sets we'll teach you would be in database management, how to manage unstructured and structured data, statistics, problem solving, machine learning, data mining, teamwork, problem definition, R and Python programming, cloud computing, communication skills, strategic planning and execution. And we will also use case studies and capstone experiences in order to expose you to real applied problems in order to make your learning experience a rounded one. Next slide, please. So we would also engage um, and bring in guest speakers who would be able to share industry insights. Uh, in particular, for the planning that we have in progress to bring in the new major in data analytics at Northwood University, we will bring in guest speakers who, will be, who are current practicing professionals in their field who will be invited to speak with you and that will help you to connect with their current experiences and expectations so that when you get into the real world, when you graduate, you are ready to go. And you can use the insights they share with you in order to hit the ground running. And it can also help you to structure your academic preparation towards excelling in the future workplace. Now, we will also make sure that the course experience uh, which we are currently doing as in our business analytics minor, and which we will also plan to integrate into the uh, planned major in data analytics, we would ensure that the in-class experience you have would involve the use of real life data sets. Uh, you will learn how to collect data, process data, prepare information, conduct analytics, um, visualization and database management. And through all of these approaches, uh, you will become a seasoned data analytics professional who can extract ac actionable knowledge directly from data through either a process of discovery, hypothesis formulation, and uh, hypothesis testing. And then to capital, we'll take capstone experiences where our students will be able to work on real life projects after collecting data from popular data repositories. Uh, through this uh, experience, our students would be able to showcase what they've learned in class, apply to real life problems, and profile solutions that have considerable impacts in everyday lives. And they'll be able to document these projects so that they can show it to future employers and demonstrate at the end of their program that they are ready to integrate into the real industry. And that's the end of the slide. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Remy. I really appreciate you coming tonight. It sounds like an amazing degree that is going to have uses in almost any industry. Would you Absolutely. agree with that? Yes. Well, this is very exciting. And I have some other questions that I'm gonna ask you later on as well, but don't worry for those of you that are still listening, we will be bringing Dr. Remy back and feel free to Post those questions in the comment box um, on YouTube so that when he comes back, we have lots of great things to get his answers to. So moving on, 
It is now my great pleasure to introduce to you Kyle Sparks. Kyle is a student here at Northwood University and is a business analytics minor and a major in accounting and insurance risk management. Wow, Kyle, that's really a mouthful. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you must be a busy guy. Well, I try and try and keep busy. <laughs> keep me out of trouble. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, I'll let you take it away. All right. So just a little bit about me. My name's Kyle Sparks, and uh, I live here in Middle Island, Michigan with my wonderful fiance. And I currently work for Dow Chemical as a co-op, and I'll start my full-time position there uh, in the summer. Uh, so I guess I'll start talking about Northwood now. Um, I didn't know about Northwood actually when I was looking for colleges. Um, and one day I got a call from a recruiter and they said, hey, I know you're going into a business field. How about you come on down for a campus tour? We're a business school. And I said, well, why not? And I come from a small farm town. So to say that Northwood felt, felt like home was an understatement. It's set back in the woods. It doesn't even feel like you're in the city. And everyone knows everybody. My campus tour guy was saying hi to every Sue, Sally, Bill, and Bob because he knew them. Uh, the campuses or the class sizes were small. You just get to know your peers. Uh, the professors know you. And when I say they know you, they personally know you. And I personally know my professors like Dr. Remy. And they try everything they can to put you in a position to where you're going to be as marketable as you can to companies. And um, well, I'll switch gears and get talking about the business analytics minor because that's probably what you're here for. So this degree is really great in the sense that it gives you all the tools necessary to take data and develop strategic decisions based off it. Um, and I can attest at Dow because Dow will give me a data set and say, hey, take a look at this and tell me what you can do with it. And I said, OK, and I try the best I can. But what it does is, I mean, it gives you a wide lens look at data through. I've used probably half a dozen different softwares to look at data, whether that be Jump, R, uh, Mine, or uh, Minitab. Just, it just gives you a plethora of different tools to look at data through. And doing that, uh, you get into a little bit of coding, which isn't as bad as it sounds. Um, Professor, or Dr. Remy, he does a wonderful job of taking you line by line through the code. And he says, these are your inputs, and this is what it's going to do. And what it does at the end of the day is when a, a company gives you a data set, it's basically a pile of mud. And you gotta be able to turn that into a sphere, a cube, a trapezoid, anything you can to get a strategic decision out of it. Um, and to do that, he gives you multiple models, Dr. Remy does. I mean, I must know 30 different models, whether it be linear regression models, whether they be ensemble models, whether they be black box models. I mean, there's just so many different ways that this Minor prepares you for the real world, and I can attest to that because it helped me get my full-time position at Dow, which I'll be starting next summer. Um, and so from the bottom of my heart, whether it be the students at Northwood, uh, the faculty, or just its overall atmosphere, this school and this minor will prepare you in ways you couldn't imagine for the real world. And so with that, I probably went over my time limit, but I'll give it back to our presenter, and I'll see you all at the Q&A. Well, Thank you so much, Kyle, and congratulations on your engagement as well as your full-time position at Dow well before you graduate. That must take a lot of stress off of you. Oh, yeah. that you already have a full-time job, so congratulations. Oh, um, I'm going to now continue the student success story with while well, I bring on Lance Johnson. Lance is a business analytics minor as well with a marketing major. So Lance, welcome to the webinar. We're so excited to have you. Um, I'm going to just kind of let you jump right in. Okay, well, thank you, Missy. Uh, yeah, I'm Lance Johnson. I'm a senior here at Northwood University, majoring in marketing, minoring in business analytics. I'm from Midland, Michigan, so I'm a townie. I chose Northwood for many, many reasons. First off, we have Northwood has some very small class sizes, so uh, more focused on class interaction as compared to lectures. Uh, we have, I picked Northwood because of our pitch competitions. Northwood has a free enterprise perspective as compared to other universities, which I really enjoy. Yeah. Another reason why I love Northwood, I picked Northwood is because you start your major in day one. Compared to other universities, you it takes a couple of years of general education credits, then you have to apply to a business college. At Northwood, you started day one, and I, I just, I really like that. I 
Also, another reason, like Kyle touched on earlier, is the professors care at Northwood. And uh, he talked about Professor Remy, and I'm going to touch on that too. I, I've actually had to rely on Professor Remy a lot throughout this semester to help me learn in my predictive analytics class, the program R, which we're currently used to, for data analysis and predictive modeling. And I remember earlier this semester, I emailed Professor Remy at about seven o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, and he responded probably within a half hour asking me if I could do a Zoom meeting right away. And I don't know about you, but I don't think many professors would take time out of their weekends to have a Zoom meeting with a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting with the students. And I, I just, I think that really goes to show you how much professors at Northwood care and how much they want to push you and your education to be the best you can be. Uh, my business analytics minor has really served me well throughout my experiences and my internships. Last summer, I was actually at Penske Automotive Group in Bloomfield Hills, Detroit in their corporate office. And I used a lot of data analysis and a lot of the techniques and knowledge I, I use in my internship, I learned in the classroom at Northwood University with my analytics minor. For example, one of these programs was Jump Pro 12 that I learned at Northwood, and I used this to examine what key performance indicators were significant in predicting employee performance at all the Penske dealerships throughout our country. I learned this in one of my analytics classes at Northwood and presented these findings to the president of Penske Corporation, executive vice president of human resources, and many of the other board members at Penske who absolutely loved my findings. In fact, they are, I'm actually being consider, considered for a full-time position uh, after graduation. And I think part of that had to do with my knowledge of analytics coming from Northwood. And this minor has helped, has already helped me land two internships throughout my college journey. And every company I've interviewed with has said they loved my business analytics minor. I'm also currently taking the predictive analytics Analytics class I mentioned earlier, and I'm I can utilize this knowledge and apply it to uh, whatever endeavors I do in the future in predictive modeling. Data is king in the business world, and this minor is so ex extremely valuable, and I'm very grateful I'm in it. So with that said, go back to Missy. Well, thank you, Lance, so much. I really appreciate it. Sounds like you've had some great experiences and some wonderful internships. Um, but now this is my favorite part of the webinar. So it's the Q&A session. So I'm going to bring back Dr. Remy and I'm going to bring back Kyle. And before we start answering questions, um, I just want to chat a little bit. So first of all, Kyle, I did have a question for you and somebody was wondering if you are an accounting major and you are an accounting major and? An insurance risk management major. Insurance risk management major with a minor in data. Okay, that is wonderful. So I'll just kick it off with you, Kyle. So I'm sure before you came to Northwood, you were probably trying to decide which college you went to. Um, did you come for a campus visit at all? And if you did, what was that like? Yeah, like I said earlier, uh, Rich Moffa gave me a call and asked if I'd come for a campus visit, and I said, sure. And like I said, it's just when the tour guide was giving the tour, it was such a friendly environment. He was saying hi to everyone. He knew everyone. We were being introduced to professors, faculty, students, um, and just where Northwood is situated. It's deep in the woods. You wouldn't even know you're in the city. And for a small time, town guy like me, that's something that I valued. And so between meeting with different students that talk to us about their majors or meeting with professors, just having, you know, sit down conversations, it was just a great visit, a great time. And it, what made me fall in love with Northwood. Wonderful. Well, it looks like we have our first question coming in. So I will see what that is. It says, I'm a junior in high school. What classes do you recommend taking? So Dr. Remy, should they be taking certain kind certain kind of classes in high school that might set them up to help them when they come in if they're interested in business analytics? Absolutely. Um, one of the base uh, courses or classes I will highly recommend will be algebra and statistics. That will set the tone to begin to appreciate how you model or play with data. 
and how to make sense of data, how you look at the relationship between sales and prices, you know, probably on a plot. And so I will definitely recommend taking classes in Bayes algebra and statistics. Wonderful. Thank you so very much. So, Professor Rem, Dr. Remy, I have one more question for you because I heard you say something earlier yes. and we were talking about that it was a minor and then I think I heard you say it was going to be a major. Is that true? Absolutely. We are looking at uh, fall of 2021 and um, we are considering, we have, we have uh, the work in the pipelines and by fall of 2021, hopefully, we should be able to get um, the the major in data analytics running. Yes. So here's our next question. Does data analytics require more computer programming knowledge, or can someone come in with minimum knowledge? I, I can answer. <laughs> Wait, yes. you want to take yes. that one? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I, I touched on it earlier, but like I mentioned, I knew nothing on programming. I knew nothing of coding, but Professor Remy, the way he teaches, it makes it so easy to learn programming and to learn how to do use R for data analysis and actually have fun with it. Like I, I told Professor Remy multiple times, this has been my most fun class I've taken at Northwood because it's like challenging, but it's also extremely rewarding, fulfilling once you complete a predictive model or create a visualization and it, he makes it very easy to understand. So the answer is yes, someone can definitely come in with minimum knowledge and learn it quickly. Yes. Well, that's wonderful <laughs> and helpful. So great. I, I think you probably have a couple people that are wondering that. So Lance, I do have a question for you because I've known you for a long time. And I happen to know that you've done some really interesting things at Northwood. So um, do you want to talk about a great experience that you had last fall? Yes, I actually went on a semester in Europe. I went to 12 different countries in Europe in 15 different cities in 10 weeks. So it, uh, it was an incredible experience. I actually speak a little German too. So I was able to utilize my German knowledge and talk to people in German, even though I definitely butchered a lot of my... <laughs> sentences i tried and i took a lot of risks i remember one day one fun story i i went to rome by myself for the day on a free travel period which you get at northwood uh, if you do a semester in europe they do like you go you have a little free time where you can go wherever you want and i actually went on a train to rome and i went on a walking tour and i met these two women from poland and we actually just met like we, we got to know each other and we ended up spending the day together. And it turns out they lived in Krakow in which was a city we we're going to the next couple of days. So uh, next couple of days went to Krakow and I hung out with them there and I actually went to a salsa dance club and I learned how to salsa dance with them. So it's just a little fun story I like to tell, but semester yeah. was an incredible experience. I learned a lot at a great time. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, it looks like we have another question that's coming in. So would I be able to take my core and major minor classes at the same time? Or do you recommend going to a community college to knock out my core? Well, I can take this one if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm in the accelerated program doing a, a bachelor's in three years and then a, major, then a master's in one year. And I have two majors and a minor. So, I mean, I'm packing a lot in a small amount of time. But everything, the advisors work very well with you. I mean, mine was a nightmare to go through, but they were able to work it. I had to take a few summer classes, which I do do at a community college. Summer classes are nice to do there. But all of your core major minor classes, I recommend doing it at Northwood just because uh, based on the faculty that's there, like Dr. Remy, um, a couple of accounting teachers I have, like uh, Professor Brown or Professor Von Fintel, they work so well with you. And I think that the knowledge you get at Northwood is priceless. And I don't think that you could get that at a community college. So I think to answer your question, I'd recommend doing most of your major and minor courses at Northwood. And then over the summers, if you want, you can get some like the general electives out of, out of the way if you'd like. But definitely your major minor classes, I think you'd have the best experience going through Northwood. 
Thank you so much, Kyle. Um, it looks like we have another question that came in. Let me see here. I plan on attending Northwood next year as a freshman. Oh, well, welcome, Jordan. And I plan to going into a finance field to hopefully become a financial planner. Would a business analytics minor be ideal for this career? Um, Dr. Remy, do you want to take that one? Yes, I will be glad to. Um, here's, a, here's my my ideal answer or my answer to that question. Um, usually in the finance industry, you have to always make deliberations about whether to grant a loan or not to grant a loan. So the big question is, what variables, what factors should you consider in deciding whether to grant a loan or not grant a loan? You would need to collect data, or you might have collected data in the past from past um, customers, and usually we can analyze that data to uncover what trends are in that data about those who are likely to default on that loan and those who are not likely to. And based on that information, we're able to make recommendations whether to grant the loan or not. And that makes you a better, I mean, a better financial planner when you can use data to drive your decisions. And of course, beyond that, too, you talk about how do you build investment portfolios? How do you combine mix of diversified investment portfolios? You need data in order to see what um, investments are performing well, which is not performing well, which cluster of um, investment options do well together. You need clustering what methods that we learn. So the short answer to your question would be, Yes, <laughs> business analytics minor would definitely be, a, I mean, be very, very useful for, for your career. And it applies to every other major because we collect data in every field and we need to make sense of that data. Well, thank you so much. And that looks like it's the end of our questions. So Lance, Dr. Remy, Kyle, this has been such a great webinar and I have learned so much about data and business analytics that I didn't know before. So thank you so much for bringing your expertise um, and your passion for Northwood and the major to the webinar. And I just can't thank you enough. I wish you all the best of luck, Kyle. Good luck on your next job, on your new job. And Lance, I think you're currently working as well. So good luck on, on your job. I'm sure you guys will have very successful futures. So. But for the rest of us, we're going to move on to our next steps. So what are those next steps? Well, we would love for you to schedule a campus visit here at Northwood University. And we are still currently doing in-person campus visits, as well as virtual visits, if that's what you would like and you feel more comfortable. So if you would like to come see the beautiful campus, experience the entrepreneurial spirit all for yourself, meet a student and even a faculty member, please feel free to sign up. And know that we are following COVID-19 protocol as well as procedures. If you are a current senior in high school or you are a student that's interested in transferring to Northwood in the fall of 2021, please go onto our website and go to northwood.edu backslash apply. I can't thank you enough for coming to the webinar this evening and learning more about business analytics. We thank you for coming. Please, if you have other majors that you're interested in, remember that the webinar series is going to go until December 17th. If you happen to miss the major that you're really interested in, don't worry. Just go on to YouTube and search Northwood University major webinar series. Thank you so much. And I hope you have an absolutely terrific evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Bye. Bye.